Hi everybody, my name is Dries Valle from Kappa Data. In this video, I will show you how you can create an SSID that only operates in a 5 GHz in a virtual smart zone environment. So first, we have to go to our VSZ environment. Once we are there, let's go to wireless LANs and drill down to the zone where you wish to configure your 5 GHz only SSID. This will be your Kappa Data test zone. First, create all the SSIDs you need. So in our case, it will be only one SSID. I'll give it 5 gigahertz SSID. And at a pre-shared key. Here we go. Next step is that we need to create some WLAN groups. So we still have our zone selected and we press the plus button. We can now create a WLAN group. The first one will be 5 gigahertz dash WLAN group. Let's select our 5 gigahertz SSID and add it. Next. Okay. And then the second one will be 2.4 gigahertz WLAN group. Here we won't select any WLANs as we don't want 2.4 gigahertz SSID. Let's not select any. Next. Okay. All right. We got our two WLAN groups. Next step, we have to go to our access points. Let's go there. Yet again, we need to go to the zone where we wish to apply these SSIDs or this SSID in our case. Again, we need to drill down to the zone where we wish to configure our 5 gigahertz only SSID. So this will be our zone of Kappa Data test. And there we will edit our access point group. You can make different access point groups. I will just edit the default one. So click the edit button. And here you can see within the radio options, you can select for every radio. So for the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz radio, you can select certain WLAN groups. So let's enable the override. For 2.4 gigahertz, we'll take our 2.4 gigahertz WLAN group. We do the same thing for the 5 gigahertz WLAN group. Enable the override and select our 5 gigahertz WLAN group. That's it. We press OK. And now we just need to wait a little bit till our access point has the new configuration. At this point, we already configured an SSID that only works on the 5 gigahertz. A small note, if you would go now to wireless LANs, go to our zone again. When we create an additional SSID, after we already created the WLAN groups, that new SSID will be assigned to all WLAN groups within the zone. So if you would add additional SSIDs, pay attention that you select or remove it from the WLAN groups where you don't want it enabled. Um, why would you create separate SSIDs for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz? Well, you don't have any control generally on which WLAN um, or SSID the client connects. So many clients can do both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but you can't really tell them which one to take. If you say prefer the 5 gigahertz, it's possible they still go to the 2.4 gigahertz channels. So what do I do um, when I see this happen or I want to be sure this is not happening? I'll create a separate SSID within 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. All clients that can see the 5 gigahertz channel can connect there 
people that only see the 2.4 will only be able to connect on the other SSID, which is only 2.4 GHz capable. Once you are connected to an SSID, which is only 5 GHz, your client will never roam to an SSID where it was not connected before, because it doesn't know the password. So, at that moment, you have the guarantee that your client always connects to the 5 GHz and will never jump back to a 2.4 GHz because for some reason your device thinks it has a better signal on the 2.4 GHz band. Let's have a quick look at the results because by now it should be updated. Here we go. We have one 5 GHz SSID and as you can see it's only within the 5 GHz band. So I already sorted on network name you can see there's no other 5 GHz SSID within the 2.4 GHz, it's only working on the 5 GHz band. That's it. I hope you enjoyed our video. If there are any questions, you can post them below. I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks everyone.